Hi, I'm Thelma of Seasonal Crafts and Creations. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Today we will be working on Thelma's bow. So let's get ready. Let me move my camera down so you can see. First I'm working with red with some little lace or it's like mesh going through the center and it's red i got this out of my christmas stash make it up to i'm going backwards from well, I'll go up here. I think you can still see. Go up to 16. And flip it over. And then count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All the way to the end. 8. And bring it over. Now count eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight will be on the seventh spot. And bring it over. We will go over this twice to have two on each side and then when you when you have it you bring it down and fold it over and this uses up my whole row show you how it looks on the back and you'll be bringing the twine up in the center first let's make sure it's even I'm going to go over just a little as you can see it's even Use your twine or rope, whatever you have. I'm using the red twine that I got off of Burlap. I showed you in a video how I did that before. And cut off. Make sure it's even. Tie it in a knot. real tight and bring it around and back and tie it one more time I want to double check this and make sure it's even pull that just a little that's how you do it if it's off any there now as you can see it's even lay that one aside now I have pink burlap from the Dollar Tree now go over to 14 and flip it over and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And 
bring it over. Now do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bring it under it. Straighten it out. Now go back over it one more time. I'm just going to take it, cut it off the strip. Now hold it and bring this one down. It's a little bit longer than the other one, but that's okay. Now measure it. Need to bring it over just a little. Now it's even. Now get your twine again. under it. Cut it even. Make sure you have this where it's supposed to. Just pull it up and make it sure before you tie it. real tight. I forgot to do that. Now bring it over and bring that one down and bring it back and tie it one more time. Tied in a bow that'll keep it from coming untied. You tie the other one in a bow. Now measure, lay this one on top. And as you can see, it's shorter than the other ones. Now we're going to make one more. This is burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree. Cut the end off. I don't have to. I thought it was glue, but it's okay. Go to 15 and then count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which is 21. If you're going 21. One, two, three, four, five, six is eight. I 
I'm just rechecking to make sure it's right. Okay. Now bring it back over. Make sure you have two on each side. And grab hold of that. Just cut this just a little bit longer. Now this one's hard to wrinkle up. So we're going to wrap this one around several times. To hold it. double knot this one and then tie it off tie it off the same length cut it off the same length I meant now let's get the other two And this front one here, take it, and tie it on, all three of them. Might be a little tricky to get it, but let me redo this. I got it. I grabbed hold of the wrong. Now, and you're going to double knot this one. So, tight, tight. All right. Let's get ready and fluff them. Move these out of the way. Twist it and fluff it. Twist that one and fluff it. Do a little puff like that. Puffs them up. Twist them. Now do the other side. Twist them. And fluff them. Puff them up. Twist 
twist it, puff it up. Puff these up after you twist them. Okay, now in the center we're going to put some jewels and stones. First, get your big one, which I have this one right here, and we're going to glue it on right there. So make sure your glue gun is hot and ready. I have flowers that were... Um, little flowers. They were buttons. I have pearls. Get a butterfly. show you these butterflies you can get from the Dollar Tree and they're only a dollar and they have all different colors of butterflies in them see what else I have in here. We might make this a big old centerpiece. I have another. It's, it's a button. But it doesn't look like it looks like a little stone. Okay, now, always make sure you, I put mine, I separate them out and put them in baggies. Once I open up a pack, and let, except for the little butterflies, they have their own little Ziploc seal. Now fluff it again a little because of putting the centerpiece in. Now... The last thing is trimming the tails. You fold it and you cut from the, the wire up to the other end. And that's how it looks. Again, take it, fold it, wire on wire, and cut from the wire up to the other end. And there you go. I have two more to go. camera up and I'll 
show you the bow. This is the bow. That's the tail hanging. And you can also, with these tails, take your take this finger, like open them up, and squeeze, and it makes little curves in it. And you can also do it to this type of burlap too. Or you can do it like that. There's several different ways you can do this. I'm just going to show you a few. Alright, I want to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you liked it, um, hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. And leave a comment. I have two contests going on right now. One is for four-piece candles. And the other one is a bouquet of seven roses in a vase. And I got both of them from Amazon. Alright, I hope y'all have a safe and happy day. Goodbye.